Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this GE HVAC system that I have in my hotel room. As you can see it's pretty big and um, this happens to be the exact same one that was at the Courtyard Marriott Logan Airport Hotel. And um, yeah, except this one has a different fan which I'll show you in a second and it's a lot quieter. Um, it has two filters, it's got one here. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. And it's got another one over here. There's the uh, the drawer or the cover thing in the bob. There's the GE logo. And then here are all the controls. You got temperature up and down, fan, auto, low and high. There's your temperature display. And for modes, you have heat, fan, and cooling. And you have sleep on or off. And your on off button. Stop is just off. And it's got this annoying stuff on it. And over here is the uh, the wire going to the plug right there. I don't know where this wire goes. And it says use on single outlet circuit only. And um, it's connected to this plate, which leads to an outside part that you can't see from here. And here's the uh, the view from the third floor of the Courtyard Marriott, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, it's a fairly nice view. Noisy highway, though. And, uh, yeah. And once my camera focuses. There we are. And, um, something funny about this is even though that, even though these controls are fully functional, if we come over here, there's a thermostat that doesn't do anything. So that's kind of silly. So, uh, yeah, and uh, there's this vent is not adjustable and it's got a little grate inside. And if I get my phone, I can show you the fan. Oh, can't show you that. There's the fan right there. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and turn it on and we'll start with low. This thing is really quiet. I'm only going to be demonstrating heat in this video because it's February and it's like 30 degrees out. It's pretty warm in here though because this thing does such an exceptional job. Let me shut up for a second just so you can hear how quiet this thing is. is super quiet but it does blow a good amount of air and you can see the fan spinning if I get my phone again you can see right there fill focus there we go and um, yeah every once in a while the compressor comes on when it gets it depends on the temperature. Um, right now it's set on 70. I can put it on 71, 69. And it just turned off because I just messed with the temperature. See if I can get it to come on. There we go. Had to jump start it. You could hear the compressor came on. So now the air should get really warm. Once the compressor turns on, it gets pretty loud, as you can hear. It blows a lot more air now. And, uh, yeah, if I stand at the entrance of the room, it's actually not that loud. Focus. Yeah. And of course when the compressor's on, you're going to feel some vibrating right here, but that's completely normal. The only difference between this one, the only differences between this one and the one at the Logan Airport Hotel is that it has a different fan. Like the other one had like an air, like an air conditioner style fan. This one looks more like a tower fan. And this one is raised up a bit. You can see there's a good amount of space underneath it. So I could actually go under here and show you the underneath of the air conditioner. 
Sorry, that was just my phone. Sorry about this. There. Um. So, yeah. And, uh, you can see it's mounted kind of poorly, but I guess it doesn't matter. And, uh, yeah. What's kind of unfortunate is that when the compressor turns off, the air gets kind of cool even when it's at heating mode. So that's kind of a downside. But, yeah. So let's go ahead and put it on high. There it goes. You can hear it speeding up. This one actually has quite a bit of a noticeable difference on high. And, uh, yeah. These things are pretty loud from the outside. I'm not going to open the window, though, because it's extremely cold outside. Huh. Come on, shade. Ah. Yeah. One issue with HVAC units that are right below the window is that the, uh, the shades get in the way. But, yeah. And the shades have some cool designs on them. So, yeah. And you notice there is some space here from the HVAC unit to the end of the window. So, even though this HVAC unit in particular is pretty big, it still is not big enough to, f to fill the entire window. You can actually, you can, oh, the compressor turned off. You can even see if I open this, you can see it doesn't go all the way over. And, uh, yeah. So the air is probably going to cool down a little bit now since the compressor's turned off, unfortunately. But, yeah. Overall, I do like this unit. It's really quiet. And, uh, yeah. There's an entire view of it, including the plug. The wire for it is very thick. And it's got a tag right there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it off. And uh, so, yeah, that was the GE HVAC unit in my hotel room. Thanks for watching.